So Christmas is the favourite time of the year for me. It's, and it's not because the food, the family and um, just being together and the presents. And um, it's because I get to decorate the house. So the materials you need, you're going to need some size 11 seed beads. It's going to take quite a lot of seed beads. You're going to need some four millimeter beads and you're going to need some six millimeter beads. You're gonna need a thread. Now it's gonna take, especially if you're doing the fully netted version, it's gonna take a lot of thread, but never really take longer than when you can manage in a couple of arm spam. I suppose that's what I usually use because I can easily pull it out. So to start with, you're gonna pick up 40 seed beads. Now be sure you pick up 40 because um, that's your foundation row. Right, so I've got my 40 seed beads on my thread i'm going to take my needle all the way through all 40 of them again to form a loop i'm not gonna knot the tail end and the thread together at this point because then the knot can seep into one of the holes on the seed beads and block it so you can't add any further beads to it so i'm just going to go through all of them you don't have to go through them once you can go through a few and then turn it and go through a few more. As long as you get all the way around. Now I don't like to work right next to my tail. So I usually when I get all the way around. I'm just take do this and I'll show you. So usually when I get all the way around and I'm next to my tail, I just go through a few more seed beads once more again. And that is just to work away from my tail. So I'm not I'm not right next to it. Just a few more beads. That's it, and pull it up. So now you've got 40 seed beads here on a loop. What your next step is, you're gonna pick up two seed beads. You're gonna pick up a four millimeter bead, another two seed beads, and then you go back to your circle and you count four beads, one, two, three, four, and you go through the fifth one, just like so. So because we're going through every fifth one, we're repeating this pattern again. So we're picking up two seed beads, a four millimeter and another two seed bead. Again, I'm gonna miss four seed bead, one, two, three, four, and go through the fifth one, just the fifth one. So I'm just adding my last loop. So I'm going through the fifth seed bead again, which is actually the first seed bead, what you came out from and pull it tight. And with this, we are done our second row of beading. The first row was the seed beads in the middle. So we need to step up now to be able to add further beads. To set up, simply go through the two seed beads and the four millimeter bead on your first loop, just like that, and pull it tight. So now we can add further beads. So the next row, we're gonna pick up three seed beads. We're gonna pick up a four millimeter bead and another three seed beads. And we're gonna go through the next four millimeter bead on our second loop, what we created. Just like so, pull this up. And you're just gonna repeat this eight more times, the seven more times until you have all eight sets. So you pick up three seed beads, four millimeter, and another three seed beads. And you're gonna go through the next four millimeter bead, what we created in previous step on row two. So repeat it until you get all the way around. This is my last loop on my third row. So I'm gonna go through this glass bead from the previously like I should. And in the same time, I'm gonna step up. So I'm gonna go through three seed beads and the four millimeter glass bead on the first loop created in this step. So we are pulling the thread through at the same time, but I stepped up as well. So I got more netting around there. So now the next row 
is going to be pretty much the same. So we will be picking up 11 seed beads and a six millimeter glass bead or, or six millimeter bead and a further 11 seed beads. And then you're going to take it through your next pearl. So you just keep adding these loops until you get around again. Right, so I just added my last loop and I'm going through the last four millimeter glass bead I need to, or, or, or four millimeter bead I need to go through. And then you're gonna take your thread through all the first 11 seed beads and the six millimeter bead as well. To be, that's your stepping up. So you're finishing your last loop and you're stepping up. And then now you're ready to add further rows. Now you need to repeat this exact 11 seed beads, six millimeter bead, 11 seed beads for two more rows going all the way around. All right, so I'm just going through the last added three rows of the with the six millimeter beads and I'm just going to step up. Now, if you just wanted to make the skirt, you would stop here and with, um, with the one thread knot, you can um, just work your threads off and that would be the skirt. So the skirt, you don't really want longer than the bauble. You just want it sort of sit it maybe a quarter or, or a third of the way up. But um, it's quite nice, just use the skirt. And now we're gonna have to reduce the size and pull it together at the bottom. But to be able to do that, we're gonna go down in sizes. I'm gonna take this back off. We're gonna do it for one more round. So we're gonna go down in sizes with the glass pearls because I want to replicate at the bottom to having the small, smaller, um, beads again so i'm just gonna do another row with 11 seed beads but instead of the six millimeter bead i'm gonna pick up a four millimeter bead here so i'm graduating my sizes back down now to be able to pull it in and after you've done this row is that's when you need to insert your ball ball in there because then we're really going to reduce the seed beads back down the seed bead sizes so um it will pull everything together. So add another row here with 11 seed beads, a four millimeter bead and 11 seed beads all the way around and step up. So I'm just adding my last loop to this row and I'm just gonna go through the six, last six millimeter bead and step up to my four millimeter bead. I'm gonna insert the bauble inside it now. Cause I'm gonna actually reduce the seed beads at the bottom and sew this onto the bauble completely. So make sure you have enough thread to go around a couple of times to finish your um, weave up here once you tighten it up because you don't really want to add a new thread right in the middle. I probably got like a couple of feet which is more than enough to go around a couple of times of my um, bobble here. And then I can take, I didn't cut the bobbin off at the beginning, so I can take more thread of that, weave it down and do my fringes with it. So to reduce the number, let's just recap. So on the first, first row, you just added the 40 beads. On the second row, you added two beads, one four millimeter beads, two beads. On the third row, you added three seed beads, four millimeter bead, three seed beads. Fourth row was 11, six millimeter, 11. The fifth row was 11, six, 11. Seventh was 11, six, 11. The eighth was 11, which is this last one we just did, four and 11. And now to mirror the top, so we got four, three seed beads going between the second and the third row. We're gonna pick up three seed beads and we're gonna pick up a four millimeter bead and another three seed beads. And you're just gonna go through the next loop, the next four millimeter bead on your next loop and pull it up. And see, we're reducing the number of seed beads so it's gonna pull the netting together. Then turn and repeat until you get all the way around. So one more time, picking up three seed beads a four millimeter bead, three seed beads, 
and going through the next loop just like so so repeat this until you get all the way around then i show you what's the next step just adding the last three seed beads four millimeter bead and three seed beads to my bauble and i just let me just take this to and show you how much it pulled together already and we're just going to go round with more rows of just seed beads now so we added our larger beads but you can see it's pulled it together now so you can't take it off the bauble anymore so your next um, row again here even here at the bottom you're going to have to step up so you're going to go through the first three seed beads and four millimeter loop bead on your first loop and now as you can see we only got 16 at the top and we got 16 at the bottom as well i know it looks like more like all in one row but once we add the next seed beads it's gonna sort of zigzag out so pick up five seed beads if you looking at it as a one large circle then miss the next four millimeter bead and go to the next one so you need to go through every second one and then pull that tight and that will pull your bubble even more now the tension is quite crucial here and it's because your netting is still a little bit big it might be you know you just have to work out the way it has the best for you to hold it i like to hold it in my hand so i'm holding on to my working thread here with my index finger at the same time i'm working and i'm holding the whole of the netting and turning it as i go so just picking up five seed beads in this step and missing one and going through the next one so you're going through the loops you added last so i went around adding my five beads so you can see that's pulled it in even further but we're going to pull it in a little bit more so i'm going to go through these first five beads what we added i'm going to go through the first three of them so i want to come out the middle seed bead just like that then on this row i'm going to add four seed beads now, if you really need to tighten your um, bauble in here and you need, really need to make it bigger because it's quite loose, then add three seed beads and that will pull it up even more. So um, what I want to do next is to catch the middle seed bead of the next loop. Just like that and go through that one. And then I'm going to pick up another four. Or if you want to tighten it you pick up three if you if you feel that it needs a lot of tightening then you're going to go up the middle seed bead of the next loop and pull it tight now if you still feel it's still a little bit too big you can tighten it up further by just going through the four seed beads added on the last loop and just the four of them so miss out the middle one from the previous unit and just go through the four of them so that will tighten it up a little bit more and i'm gonna work this off because it's not having only got probably less than a feet of thread left here which won't be enough to add the fringes so i'm gonna come up following any thread path i created and i'm gonna do a couple of one thread knots and let me just pop up here and then i'll show you what that that means so we are here right next to this four millimeter bead that's where our thread comes out now i'm gonna go under the beads and i don't want to go through any beads i want to go under the beads because what i want to do is to catch the thread path underneath it and pull it up now we see this little loop sort of appearing and forming here before this disappears, I'm going to go through it once. You can go through it twice to form a larger knot. Let's do it twice. And then as you can see, when I'm pulling that tight, that just forms a knot on there, on the thread itself. So then now our thread is secure. I do like to do this a couple of times. So I'm going to go through a few more beads and do it again, just to be extra secure. Just do another knot so i'm going to do another one here just go under the thread path pull it up until we have a loop 
and just go through this loop and pull it tight and we got another knot formed. So this is a great way in beadwork as well, not just for the baubles, but anything you do or anything beading you do, this is a great way to finish off your threads. And then I'm gonna take more thread off my bobbin and weave it down to the bottom. So I weave my thread down to the bottom and I'm coming out one of the four millimeter beads right on the inner circle. Now the fringe you can make as long as you want. You can use different patterns or, or depending on what beads you have. But first you have to pick up five seed beads. That's what I did on mine. This can be four or six, but I think just five. And then a four millimeter bead, then you're gonna want some longer sections. So if I just show you this one. So I did five seed beads, I did 11 and another one and 11 and another one and 11 and another one. Now this can be even longer or it can be shorter fringes. It's, it's entirely up to you. Now take your beads all the way back up. And what you need to do now, you need to turn your thread path around. So I'm gonna pick up one more seed bead and ignoring this seed bead, you're gonna go back through the six millimeter bead and back through the seed beads all the way to the top. Now you can just make sure, but so to hold, to tighten the thread path up and to have a really nice um, sort of tension, I hold them to the six millimeter bead and I pull my thread up and that will just bring it up. And then you're gonna go all the way back up and stop at the just after the last 11 sort of before the five size 11 seed bead you added after the last four millimeter bead there so i'm just going to go all the way up and just stop here now i'm coming out just after the last bead. I'm gonna pick up five seed beads here because I want my pattern to be nice and even and I want my fringe connected to both sides of this four millimeter bead. So I'm picked up my other five seed beads mirroring this side and I'm gonna go through this four millimeter pearl but from the other side so you see our fringe is coming out of this side and then I'm going to go through here and when I pull it up that just creates like a nice little loop. So now what you need to do is to take your thread around. It doesn't matter which way you take it or which seed beads, which thread path you take it through, but you need to get to the next pro on there or glass bead or bead or next larger four millimeter bead. So I'm not going to stop in front of the bead. I'm going to go through the bead and pull it up. And I'm going to add the same pattern again, then move along at the same pattern again. So I need to add seven fringes, seven more fringes to complete. So with that, I finished my bauble. Um, I did all eight of the little fringes and I taken my thread up and did a one thread knot um, just to secure it and tie it off. Um, I love this pattern. <clears throat> Again, as I said, for different size baubles, you might have to reduce or increase the number of seed, seed beads. Probably the best places to do is on your fourth row. So this, this just sort of would come down even a little bit more and reduce this one where you um, going to decreasing the number of seed beads between so you're tying it onto your bauble now a couple of little variations i want to show you this one we used six millimeter beads all the way through and six millimeter beads right at the end of our fringe this one i had eight millimeter bead as well so what i did is i used four four six eight back to six four four and then on a fringe i used four four six eight so just giving you a little bit more graduation but if you had like a size 10 as well then you could do four six eight ten and then graduate it back down it's entirely up to you it's your design 
spike ones will work just as well or any other glass pearls glass beads you have i hope you enjoyed the video and i hope to see you soon check out the other videos on this playlist to learn more techniques just like this